And thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Deneau. Federal charges are filed against accused bomber Ahmed Khan Rahami. Rahami is being charged with four counts, including the use of a weapon of mass destruction. Investigators linked Rahami to the incidents through a fingerprint and a cell phone on the pressure cooker that was found in New York. He is now recovering in the hospital after a shootout with police and is being held on more than $5 million bail. One America's Rachel Asenis tells us more about the suspect and why his own father warned police about him back in 2014. Did you know that your son was doing this? No. You had no idea? No. That was Ahmad Rahami's father, Mohammed Rahami, saying he had no knowledge of his son's plans. But now his story seems to be changing. In an interview with the New York Times Tuesday, Mohammed said he told police he was concerned his son was a terrorist back in 2014, when Ahmad was arrested for stabbing his brother during a domestic dispute. Ahmad was jailed on assault charges, but a grand jury declined to indict him. Three years before that, the FBI says Ahmad traveled to Pakistan and Afghanistan and had praised al-Qaeda and jihadist causes, as he expressed in a notebook found when authorities captured him. He married his wife in Pakistan in 2011, and he petitioned to bring her to the U.S. That paperwork was approved in 2012. In 2014, he contacted the U.S. consulate, concerned about his wife's expired passport and the renewal of her immigrant visa. Reports now show his wife left the U.S. just a few days before the bombings. Meanwhile, his family has a history of clashing with the community over the restaurant they owned and lived above, over late hours and loud customers. The mayor of Elizabeth, New Jersey, says the family sued the city and police back in 2011, accusing them of harassment and religious discrimination, subjecting them to citations for allegedly violating the city's ordinance. There was a lot of congregation going on, a lot of people hanging out. The city council was getting complaints from the neighborhood, at which time they voted to close it at 10 o'clock, which led to some uh, clashes with the police department because the police were enforcing the city council ordinance. The family lost that lawsuit in 2012. As for the investigation of the bombings, the FBI continues to speak to family members and is working with officials overseas to get a hold of Ahmad's wife for further questioning. Rachel Asenis, One American News.